Hey guys, Matt Guzman here, I'm back with another video, and today is going to be my November status update of Eagle Scout in only two years. I know I'm a little late, here's my status update for November. First of all, let's get right into it with the overview. There are 7 Scout ranks, 16 leadership positions, and 21 merit badges that are required for Eagle. Now, for the ranks, I've had Scout, Tenderfoot, 2nd Class, 1st Class, Star Scout, and I'm currently a Life Scout. But I am very close, very, very close to Eagle, actually. And I'll explain how in a second. So that is six out of these seven ranks in scouting. And I'm very close to getting Eagle Scout. Now, for the leadership positions, I have been Quartermaster, Den Chief, uh, Patrol Leader, Instructor, Senior Patrol Leader, and Assistant Senior Patrol Leader. And I'm Instructor again for my troop uh, until the next... Uh, I think it's in January when the new positions come, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do after that, but currently I am instructor, and as I mentioned in the last status update, I'm technically part of leadership because the current SPL has me as his ASPL, but for some reason I'm not in the system as the ASPL, but I still show up to all the leadership stuff, so I, I don't know, it's weird, but I'm officially the troop instructor, so I just recently taught my troop the American Cultures Merit Badge, so that was cool. So, as I said, Life Scout has been completed for a long time, probably like 10 or 11 months, it's been a while since I've been a Life Scout. Uh, to get a Life Scout, you need to be active at least 6 months as a Star Scout, you need to demonstrate Scout Spirit, uh, earn 5 more Merit Badges, so you have 11 in total, Participate in six hours of service, with three of them being conservation-related. Active six months in a position of responsibility. And use the edge method to teach another scout a scout skill. So that's for Life Scout. For Eagle, I'm 89% of the way there. I'm very, very close. Pretty sure the only thing I need is the board review and then the national uh, approval. So you needed six months as a Life Scout. 21 merit badges in total, with 13 of them being Eagle required six months in a leadership role and the eagle scout service project which i have done for the eagle scout service project last month i did a whole live stream about it basically i'm going to be live streaming every month to try to raise money for my eagle scout project because i need like 500 dollars. pretty sure i've only raised like 20 so the next week um i don't think i'm doing anything on saturday which means that it's going to be like normal time, going to be the second Saturday of the month, 12 o'clock noon Eastern. I'm going to be live streaming. Last week was, the, was about my project, uh, not last week, sorry, last stream, that's what I meant to say. The last stream I did was about my project. This next upcoming stream is most likely going to be a little bit more on the project, but leaning more towards the Eagle application, explaining the entire process because the Eagle application is important. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be live streaming. So for Eagle Scout, that's in progress. I almost have that done. Last month on my channel, we've had What is Scouting for Food? Or I talked about how to volunteer in Scouts BSA. I did a video like this last year when I did Scouting for Food. And I, this is the 2020 version that I did. I also did the live stream, as I said before. It was my Eagle Scout project review. And it was my live stream. Uh, again, I'm going to be live streaming next week to try to raise money for my project. Or not really raise money for the project, but to pay it off, basically. Uh, scouting for food, as I said before, I will link this video in the description because it was an update on how I did scouting for food this year and how it went. And also explaining what it is if you're a new scout that doesn't know what this is. It already happened, but, you know, it's always good to have an idea of, like, scouting events. And my Eagle Project Review. I mean, I could link it, but it's like a two-hour stream. I'm still going to link it anyway. Um, but yeah, basically, my streams now are going to be like basically for uh, informing you guys about any scout-related questions and also to raise money to pay off my, uh, uh, to pay off my Eagle Scout project because I need about $500. So, merit badges. Uh, the merit badges that I have currently, uh, we'll start with the Eagle-required ones, are First Aid, Swimming, Citizenship in the World, Cycling, Personal Management, uh, Environmental Science, Citizenship in the Nation, Camping, Cooking, Emergency Preparedness, uh, Communications, Family Life, and Citizenship in the Community. Oh, and Personal Fitness, yes, so I do have all of them. 
these are 14 mara badges but it still technically only counts for the 13 because these are either or i've mentioned this before basically meaning that this still does count for the 13 out of 13 eagle required badges even though i have 14 because i'm extra <laughs> and now for the non-eagle required mara badges i have chess music art movie making scholarship indian lore uh, animation robotics digital technology fingerprinting, railroading, public speaking, archaeology, public health, uh, game design, chemistry, home repair, uh, scouting heritage, reading, salesmanship, American culture, and the next slide, of course, has to go on over American heritage. That's a lot of badges. Counting them all up, that is 22 merit badges that are non-eagle required which does mean I have the 36 out of 36 that I need for the Eagle Palms. So, now is my update on how COVID-19 is affecting me in Scouts. So, meetings are in person and online. It's a mix. Usually for my PLCs, we have the PLCs online, and most of our meetings are in person now. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going for most troops anyway. Uh, troop events are, are being planned, like usual. Uh, we're getting back into the habit of doing like a camp out per month or an event per month, which is good. Just keeping in mind social distancing. Uh, I've helped three friends in their Eagle projects. And I completed my Eagle project and turned in my Eagle Scout rank application. Also, I signed up for winter camp. And winter camp is going to be the last camp out I go to before I age out. So it's going to be pretty exciting to go with, on that camp out with my troop. Winter camp is still going to be fun because... I don't need merit badges, I don't need anything, I'm just showing up just because I can, and it's like one of the last times I'm going to hang out with my troop. So, about the Eagle Scout application, well, I think that's next. Oh no, sorry, it's the progress of my scout career which leads into the Eagle Scout rank application. So anyway, my progress. Um, I'm very close to Eagle Scout, as I keep mentioning. I have everything done, turned in all my paperwork, got my merit badges, finished my project, and sent off my letters of recommendations. Uh, I was also elected in the Order of the Era by my troop. I, I actually don't know what's happening next, but hopefully they send whoever it is sending out emails is going to send me another one. But Order of the Era, it's confusing me because, yeah. Uh, I, oh yes, I completed my Eagle Scout rank application, as I keep saying. It's just a two-page application. A lot of it is just verification on what you've completed to get Eagle Scout, making sure all the records match up. I also got all 36 merit badges that I want, which means I can get the first three Eagle Palms as soon as I get Eagle Scout, which is cool. And I went on a camp out with my troop. Uh, we were doing it for a cooking camp out, so we did a lot of cooking. And that was fun because we were teaching it together. And it's, I mean, it's always nice to go on a camp out with people and like going out with your troop. But you know, having you and your friend as the ones in charge, that was pretty cool. Because we were just like chilling and doing all the advance, oh, not advancements, all the uh, activities and stuff. It was, it was nice. It was nice. Oh. So for badges I am working on, I have the hiking, or not, sorry, I don't have it. I'm working on the hiking merit badge, the backpacking one, the law, uh, home, uh, not home repair. I keep getting the merit, there's so many merit badges, I keep getting it wrong. Hiking, backpacking, law, mining and society, and weather. Sorry, those are the five that I'm working on. There's so many. <laughs> um, also, progress on my Eagle project. So, um, I, this was in my last update too. On October 17th, I finished my Eagle Scout project in one day and finished the workbook, like the three stages of the project. I got all that done and turned that in. As I, as I keep saying, I sent in my paperwork for approval. Um, I don't think it's been approved yet, but I at least, I sent it off the first time and apparently there were a lot of errors with it, so my dad and I had to fix it, and I'll explain those errors in a second. Um, I would also say, because a lot of it is back and forth things now, is, is that the stage where a lot of it is just getting verification and approval? So it's a lot of back and forth, so consistent communication is very important at this point. And I have to collect my references now. I already sent off the emails and the letters to all the people I needed to reference, and I turned in my Eagle Rank application. That keeps showing up a lot. I'm not exactly sure why I keep putting that on my slides. It is pretty important. <laughs> so my Eagle Scout project, as I mentioned in my live stream from October or November, whichever it was, my last live stream basically. Here's the doc before, here's the doc after. 
that was my project. It's pretty cool. My live stream explains the entire thing fully, so if you missed the live stream, you should still go check it out. Just like, you know, if you're interested in what my project was, I'll link it in the description. Now, my Eagle Scout project review. That was what that live stream was. That's what I just mentioned. Sorry, that's the thumbnail for it. And that was a fundraiser for the project. I'm going to be doing another one, as I said, next week, 12 o'clock noon Eastern time. Going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to answer questions, talk about my project, and I'm also going to talk about the Eagle Rank application, exactly how I did it, how you could do it, some pointers I can give to you. I'm also going to be talking about, like, my entire process of getting Eagle Scout. Like, you know, there's, there's like, this sort of pressure on Life Scouts that, oh, well, now you're a Life Scout. What are you going to do now? So I'm going to talk about my, my process of what I did since I've been a Life Scout in this next live stream. So you should definitely show up 12 o'clock noon Eastern time this coming Saturday. Um, yeah, and if, I mean... I would appreciate donations because I need $500. So, yeah, that would be nice. Even if you don't have money, just showing up would be helpful too. You can ask me questions. You can get informed on the stuff I'm telling you guys. So it's going to be nice. Now, the Eagle Scout Rank Application. Uh, Central Florida Council has these PowerPoint slides with specific instructions. I'm not going to go over the entire thing, but basically, I'm just, I'm just going to skim over it. So, you're not officially an Eagle Scout until the National Board signs the application. So, even if you get everything approved and all that good jazz, you can't actually wear the rank until you get nationally approved. Um, recommendations. So, there's specific recommendations. Um, okay, so it says, request your letters of reference at least a month ahead of your Eagle Scout Board review. Pretty sure I did that. Um, it says recommendations are confidential and never shared with the scout and are destroyed following the Eagle Border Review. So, yeah, that's how that works. Um, Alright, let's see. That's the recommendations. Oh, yeah, then you need to request the Eagle Border Review. Okay, so it says you need to request one from the Scoutmaster. You need to collect your letters or recommendations. The Scoutmaster will coordinate with you, the District Eagle Chair, and Eagle Board members. Um, so that's just, uh, this is just how my council does it. This might not be the same for every council, but these are just the guidelines from mine, uh, Central Florida Council. So it's especially that thing on the bottom that says the Scoutmaster, not the Scout, arranges the Eagle Board Review. And then the application submittal and approval, uh, says you need to have your original Eagle Scout rank application. They don't like to have back and forth things online. They would prefer if you actually had the signatures in, like, like the raw signatures you need to have your a lot of people call it the essay it's actually called the ambitions and life purpose statement usually about two pages long you need the signature page from the completed the entire workbook the eagle scout service project report um you need to have the recognition of your service hours the total amount of hours and you need to have the bsa local council verification intake form that's a lot <laughs> so Another thing that is very important to understand is Scoutbook is good for keeping your records for your advancement, but when it when it comes to like a, a board sense, Scoutbook is not official. What the board says is official. So if the records don't match up, then something needs to get fixed, which to me doesn't make any sense, but apparently that's how that works, and it's very confusing to me. I still don't fully understand it, but... What the board had as a record, they were missing like a third of my merit badges, even though the court of honor was like six months ago. So I'm I was confused by that, and because I had the badges, I had the cards, and the advancement was in scout book. So basically, what needs to happen is if the records don't match up, you need to scan or email a copy of the rank cards for the ranks that are missing. And for merit badges, you need to have blue cards of the applicant record side for merit badges that are missing. And then you need to request an updated Eagle Scout form prior to turning in the Eagle Scout application. So it's like really weird and tedious. And yeah, it took my dad a while on it to figure it out because I was really confused on it too. But that's how that works. And so that's how that works. Again, I'm not entirely sure on that whole process. That's why I had the slides there to help me. And my dad was helping me as well because I turned in the Eagle application thinking everything was good. 
and it got kicked back, and apparently there were a lot of things wrong. Also, it doesn't help that I was in four different troops, so they didn't have records from the other councils and other troops. So then I, <laughs> then we had to send in the freaking the records from those two, so that was kind of annoying. All right, Eagle Palms, Bronze. I don't want this video to be too long, but, I mean, it is interesting that you guys learn about my progress and how I can help you guys in your progress. Anyway, Eagle Palms, 50% of the way there. This just means I need to get Eagle, then I have the Palms, so that's why the 50% is there. I already have all the merit badges, as I've said before. Gold, 50% of the way there. And Silver, 50% of the way there. This means, as soon as I turn Eagle Scout, I don't have to wait three months and then three months and then three months because that would be way too long i since i already have all the requirements for these palms i can get them when i turn eagle scout instead of having to wait a total of nine months pretty sure they changed that all right and then the fourth one i don't think i'm gonna be able to make this because it's 32 percent but i'm working on it uh the for merit badges that i've gotten i've done the reading merit badges yes salesmanship i got that done American culture. I actually just taught this to my troop recently as instructor. It's pretty nice. I went to this thing called Oktoberfest, which is like a German themed like kind of festival. And they did a chicken dance there. So we got a speaker, played the chicken dance, and I had everybody come up to the front of the room and we just <laughs> did the chicken dance. And that counted for the requirement too, which is the funny thing. So yeah, one of the requirements actually counted for that. So that was fun. Uh, again, I'm going to be doing videos on these pretty soon. American culture and American heritage that got those done pets is in progress that's 75 percent of the way there the pet I chose because I'm allergic to like like animal hair in general I don't know what's wrong with me I just any type of animal hair is just ugh. so <laughs> uh, my dad got me beta fish because you know those are pretty simple look at the little guy it's like albino or something it's pretty cute I call I called it Maruno bars because Bruno Mars is one of my favorite song artists, so I named my fish uh, Maruno Bars. Anyway, I need to keep track of this little guy for three months. Actually, I'm pretty sure the requirement says four months. Sorry, I, I might have messed up that number. It's three to four months, one of those. Basically, I need to take care of this guy. And since I started this uh, last month, I should have enough time to get this merit badge right before I age out. So that'll be cool just to have another one underneath my, my belt of merit badges. So yeah, Pets Merit Badge, working on that, taking care of Maruno Bars, uh, making sure I'm feeding him correctly, uh, his lifestyle's good. I mean, it's just a fish, shouldn't be too hard. I just gotta make sure he doesn't die, because that'd be sad. <laughs> Hiking, 73% of the way there. I'm really hoping I can do this sometime after winter camp with my troop. It doesn't look like it, though, because I'm pretty sure winter camp's gonna be my last one, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get hiking. Same with backpacking, but, you know... Those are still in progress. I, I may have time to do these. Mining and society, 71% of the way there. And weather, 33% of the way there. Uh, that popped up weird. So I'm almost done with weather as well. I need a few more requirements to get this completed. So I should be able to have this by the end of the month. And then law, which is 0% of the way there because I'm not exactly sure when that is. So this is kind of a long status update. I know I was like, rambling for a little bit but it was good because a lot has happened in the past month so you guys are updated with me and you know i can tell you guys about my stuff so thank you for watching the video if you did enjoy it please like it turn on notifications on my channel and i will see you all in the next one and also remember stream this coming saturday 12 noon eastern time i'll see you guys there Bye bye